Jeff Fontana, take two. Can you tell me about violence and the work of Fontana? Violence is something immediately obvious when you look at the work of Fontana. But beyond this violence, there is something much more profound and much more delicate. Once, when asked whether he wanted to destroy his canvases, he replied, no, I want to discover. It is an attempt to break through a resistance that is, first of all, a mental resistance that we have. When we look around ourselves, when we try to understand our place in reality and reality itself, we are wrapped by the canvas of our mind, of our language, of our imagination. We like to see things familiar. Fontana has to cut through this resistance to bring us to infinity, to bring us to silence, to chaos, to something beyond the familiar. It is violence, but it is the minimum necessary violence. In 1949, Lucio Fontana begins the series of the Buki, of the Holes, with one gesture, a criminal gesture, like a thug, stabbing the canvas. The viewer is catapulted, is thrown through the canvas to the next dimension. He wants to take the gesture of the artist and accelerate it to the point when it becomes instantaneous. His relationship with speed is philosophical, conceptual, and extremely intense. At the time when Lucio Fontana was working, the space age was about to begin, the space race. The idea of moving towards outer space, the moon, and beyond, the infinite darkness of the outer space. For Fontana, infinity is not the repetition of the world. What you see through the holes or through the cuts is not just light or darkness as we know them. It is light and darkness absolute. The place where everything resides together in a state of potentiality, where everything is still sleeping in its infinite possibilities. The 1950s and the 1960s were a time of great transformation intellectual, artistic, and political. It was an idea that the world as it was could be entirely revolutionized. And Fontana, in a way, with his dynamic gestures, is part of this overcoming of the present world towards a new world. If you look at Concetto Spaziale, if you look at the holes, you see that they are pierced both ways. It is not just Fontana that is trying, as a hero, to reach the next dimension, but Fontana is listening to what the other dimension has to say. From beyond the canvas, somebody's stabbing through. From beyond the canvas, infinity is speaking back.